Hey, Kevin. What are you doing? Oh, I got an email the other day. Guy wanted to know more about lap joints. No, not the place you go where the girls are. Welding. <laughs> so I thought, now let's talk about lap joints a little. Come here, let me show you. Now, how'd you get up there? I didn't know your tripod went that tall. Anyways, so here's some eighth inch plate that I pulled out of the scrap bucket. And now this would be a butt joint. That's a different video altogether. This is a lap joint where one piece overlaps the other. Good rule of thumb to remember is twice the thickness of your metal in for your overlap. So I got eighth inch plate. So I want to come in a minimum of a quarter inch, which I already drew my line on there, so I've got something to line up to. And then I can just come over to my table. This is just a little piece of scrap that I cut to go underneath the edge. It's eighth inch also, so now everything is more or less flat. And I can get my clamps on. So you're putting the clamps on the top piece. Put it on the top piece because I've got that little shim underneath it. So that'll keep the top piece flat. That'll push down on the bottom piece. And now everything is grounded to the table. And I've got my welder grounded to the table. So now I've got a complete circuit. So now I can just go ahead and weld it. So let me get my helmet. And you get yours. And we'll spark it up. Okay. So we've got the Miller 200 sine wave set up over there for stick welding and you see this is 6013 rod eighth inch diameter to go with the eighth inch plate that I'm welding down here so I should get a really nice real nice fillet running right down my gap so got the welder set up got my helmet you got yours yep okay let's see what we got So with your chipping hammer and some eye protection, hey, fell off all by itself. That's the slag. This is this is the flux that's on the metal rod, and the flux turns into slag when you you weld. It covers the weld while it's still molten. And then when the weld cools, you chip this off, or sometimes it just falls off like this piece did. And there's the weld underneath. Now this is a, this is called a single fillet weld. It's okay for like general purpose. It's not very strong for loads that would come from the front in. If, if this was on the outside and something hit it, it wouldn't be a very strong weld. From the back side, it would. Stronger. This is a single fillet. You flip it over, you weld the other side. Now it's a double fillet. And that's a lap joint. Pretty easy. Pretty, pretty quick. Pretty simple. So here it is off the table. Come here, take a look. Nice looking weld, decent penetration on both sides. Little discoloration to the back where the heat was starting to come through. Decent weld, I think. It'll probably, probably stand up to a weld test. Next time, we'll talk about butt joints. <laughs> I'll see you all later.